Welcome back guys for another knife testing Condor Huron a different bushcraft knife if you want to use it for that or for something else it's a knife you know what you're going to use it for I'm not going to tell you how to use your knife just showing you how I use the knife so the Condor Huron as you already may know it's a carbon steel knife Condor use very much 1075 but for this knife it's 1095 you have a curved handle pretty small the leather sheath of this knife I think it's really good looking some details the condor stamp as always stitching from the both side going around and we have a high riding belt loop so it's a bit high for my taste but it's lower than the bush lore made in El Salvador and yeah I'm really liking the sheath the style of it the only thing I could say or everybody complains is when you're putting in your knife because of the curve here the blade is as you see the belly here goes I can feel how it goes against the the leather there it's a good retention this knife will not fall out of here. We shall see in time if it loosens up. But otherwise, a really good made sheath. And as you know, Condor do give you value for your money, in my opinion. So that's the sheath. Here you can see how high up the knife rides in your waist. It's not so high. It's not so terribly high I know that the bush lower rides high higher up this is pretty good it's not so big so it's not on the way yeah there we have how high up it rides so let's talk about the knife a bit so I was telling you it's 1095 carbon steel convex grind so many of you guys <laughs> will like the steel especially for all you guys that say 1075 is too soft so they went for 1095 on this knife this knife out of the box wasn't razor sharp it was sharp enough but I did touch up a edge a little bit the only thing I can tell you when you're grinding or when you're sharpening this knife is this part it was a bit difficult for me in the whetstone there because as you can see we have this curve done here making the steel very thick there and when you're going with the stone like that this thickness makes it almost impossible to grind uh, to sharpen the edge down here without raising the angle like that and I don't like that of steep angle so I think in time I will regrind this so it will be all the way like this and that just making it easier for me to sharpen this knife let's do as always test this knife out with some feather sticking some batoning and some fire making
here we're going to do some light batoning. Very, very dry wood. I have some cracks I can follow. It's easier to split there. And yeah, let's do some light batoning with this knife. No problem, batoning, smaller stuff like that. Let's do some feather sticks. A small spider. Small little spider. Go away. Here we go. And you also ant. Ant man. Here we begin with the mosquitoes. Now, as you can see, you can get really nice curls the convex grind helps you to curl them up like that it's a bit easier with a convex knife in my opinion than with a Scandinavian grind Let's speed up this a bit and get the thicker curls for the fire for the fire making test yeah I hope you can see it there we have plenty of curls there we go some feather sticking with a knife not so bad so here we have our feather stick, our fair rod, and our knife. Almost there we got. Yeah, we got it. No problem with the fire making. A really good spine on this knife. Yeah, really nice 90 degree spine. That was all guys. A small test of the Condor Huron. Some batoning, some feather sticking and some fire making. The three things I like and look for when I buy a knife. The conclusion is that I like the knife. I really like the leather sheath, good quality sheath. Just a bit too tight on that place. So in time, I don't know if we make some damage on the sheath or if it affects so much the sharpness of the knife. Putting it in and drawing it from the sheath. Just a minor detail there. The spine, yeah, it was really good at the spine, really nice 90 degree spine. When you feel the spine like this, you don't think it's so sharp, but it did strike the fire steel very good. Really liking the convex grind for the feather sticks. I think you saw the curls uh, getting pretty nice there. Uh, I noticed when I got this knife, it had a crack here so and I think they have just glued it on there 
but as I told you, it's a more budget friendly knife from El Salvador. 1090, you get 1095, you get a great leather sheath and a stylish knife <laughs> for you all guys that like this kind of look on your knife. Right? Reminds me a bit of some kind of Indian knife or something like that. If I would compare this knife with the Thunder Bush Lord, and if you are a more bushcrafting type of guy, I would go for the Bush Lord. Uh, don't be afraid of the 1075 steel. Uh, it's a great steel also uh, for that kind of knife. They have done the heat treatment really good, I think, and I haven't had any problem with it yet. <laughs> and uh, the other thing with 1075 that you can get it really sharp really fast you don't have to work with your knife for an hour before you get it it's really simple and easy to resharpen otherwise guys really nice knife really get glad I've got it for my collection <laughs> and yeah I can see me bringing this knife out some more times. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, you know what you got to do. If you want to be a part of my channel, you know what to do. DJ Outdoor Life is the place to be. <laughs>